I've been machining for approximately 25 plus years. Um, had all sorts of different indexing capabilities that I have available. Um, the last 16 years, I've been doing this for myself. And um, the Rose Index really has kind of evolved from many indexers that I've utilized that in one form or fashion typically falls short. And I'm hoping with this video I can give you some understanding and hopefully save you some trial and error and just try to do what I can to help you out. The Rotodex and the, the spin indexer really don't qualify for typical jobs, but again, it's something that I have at my disposal and a lot of these things generally just collect dust. Um, if there's a reason why they're a little bit better, I'll probably pull them out of storage, but honestly, the Rotodex I've never used. The spin indexer, if I've used it two or three times starting out, that was because it was about the only thing I had. A lot of people want to strive to the collet blocks as being a cheap form of indexing. Um, I've had that set because of cost since I first started. And if I've used them a handful of times, that's it. I've never had them clamp very well. They just, they're a little awkward when you're trying to tighten things up. Put them in your vise, positioning, it just, they're not, they're not the greatest, at least not in anything I've ever done. And the clamping force is not very good at all. If you talk about the indexers, as I kind of graduated and had a little bit more money to work with, I was able to purchase a used 5C import indexer. Um, for me at the time, it was great. It uh, allowed me for some quick indexing. Um, you have 15 degree increments that you can index to. Uh, the runout's pretty good, but they kind of seize up a little bit. They don't really work the best, and a person really should clean them up, lubricate them quite often. With me in the shop, uh, I'm typically using coolant on machining centers and you really want to make sure that you're keeping them from seizing up. Um, as I got a little further into business, I was able to acquire a Hardinge. Um, as far as I'm concerned, Hardinge make an amazing product. They're, they're beautiful. Um, with, all these, with all these options, you're pretty much at a 5C collet. You can, if you want to spend money, you can buy larger collets and adapters so that you can go over an inch but generally speaking everything in this realm is one inch or less and when you get into the indexers depending on your table space on your machine they do start to take up a little bit of real estate with your work envelope um, the collet blocks small and convenient but I've never had really any good luck with them the, the Rose Index, in the one inch version, almost takes care of the majority of the things that you can do with these indexes. Um, in the future, I'll kind of give you some ideas as far as how to get other degree increments that you can do with the three different shapes. There's some things that I've kind of figured out over the time, but I will touch base on those more into the future. When we get into larger sizes than a one inch. The super spacer type indexer is what I have at my disposal next. I have one set up for larger work and I have one set up for the smaller work. Um, they work all right. A um, little heavy. If you've ever uh, endured a hernia surgery, um, you probably don't want to be throwing them around any more than you have to want to say that they're a little over 100 pounds a piece. The two inch rose index is under two pounds. Um, they all kind of come out, they all kind of work out in their own place. I maybe use the super spacers 
maybe three to four times a year, but that's about it. Um, I tend to just grab a rose index. I typically have vices on my table. Um, very quick, very convenient, and I'm not messing around with these. And again, with, with the machines that I'm using, typically I have coolant. Um, these have internal components that you don't want starting to seize up, so I try to flood them with some oil or grease them up fairly well before I throw them back on the shelf. Um, and then next up, this is an indexer. Um, I have a collet set up for it. I don't have many collets because if it, I don't have a need for that collet size, I haven't justified the expense in it. Collets of that size kind of add up pretty quickly, and to buy a full set gets you have to have a justification for it the way I look at it. Um, with the indexer, um, I can either manually index to the next position. My machines will tell it to go to the next position. Um, I have a three jaw, a four jaw, and a faceplate for it, as well as with the collet head that I have. Um, that's pushing 200 pounds, and unless you have some kind of an overhead lift, you really, I don't really like picking it up anymore. Pretty much all of these types of indexes are physically the work holding. And they all have, at some capacity, a runout. Um, on the higher end, the runouts are obviously much better. But when you get into anything with a collet, when you're buying these cheap import collets that you want to compare costs on, normally they strive that six tenths is their runout. Um, by the time you put six tenths in your collet, if you put any kind of runout into the block or the holder that you're working with, that is ultimately adding to the runout. When you use the rose index, you are utilizing a fixture, a vise, any kind of fixture that you're utilizing, and you're clamping right back into it. So the way I look at it, your run out is basically zero. You might get a little deflection in your vise if you tighten it or loosen it slightly different, but this does not add any run out to your part. Each form of indexing that you might have or that I might have Everything kind of has something that it does well, something that it doesn't do well. But in the long run, I came up with the Rose Index specifically because I ran into many situations that the indexers that I was using didn't fit my need, and I felt that I needed to do something better. So as you look at these, realize the expense versus the value and what makes sense for your operation or for your hobby. And I also recommend taking a little bit of a look at how much space that you will be giving up for that indexing form. For me, these get used weekly and sometimes daily. I have quite a few of them because most times I actually utilize more than one, but in one drawer, I still have a lot of space left over. And value and economically, I feel that my option is much better than the rest of them that I have.